guys, what's up? TBL here with an all new Watch Dogs how to video. Now, in this video, we'll be covering how to unlock all 13 of the CTOS towers. These towers are spread all throughout the city and are easily identified on the map by this red icon. Once you've accessed and hacked into the tower, you'll unlock an area's hideouts, collectibles, and investigation points. There are 13 of these throughout the city, so it may take a while to get them all. So, let's begin. Now the first two of these towers will be automatically available for you to access and hack into immediately after finishing the first mission. Right when you've escaped the cops, you can head straight to the first CTOS tower which should be nearby. It'll be marked up a hill by this fine gentleman. All of the CTOS towers are located in an area behind locked gates, so you generally have to find an unlock panel to open the gate up before you can access the tower. At this first tower, simply follow the data stream around to the back of the building and you'll find yourself a camera. Hack into the camera and use it to lower the forklift immediately to your left. Doing this reveals a second camera that you can then hack into, which will point you directly towards the unlock panel. Simply hack into that and the door should open. Back out of the camera and head through the newly opened door around to a ladder. Climb up that ladder and hop over the short enclave and the CTOS tower will be right in front of you underneath the camera you just hacked. Congratulations, hacker. You just got into your first CTOS tower. One down, 12 to go. After you've unlocked the tower, a short cutscene will play, showing off every single hideout, collectible, and investigation point you've just unlocked for that portion of the city. Unlocking these towers is also a great source of EXP, as you'll get at least 250 each time you do it. The second CTOS tower you can access is also in the Parker Square district, to the immediate south of the first CTOS tower. Once you've made your way down there, you'll notice the tower is in a back alley. What you'll want to look for is this fenced-in area that'll house the CTOS tower. Once you've found the back alleyway, turn around and look for a guy playing with his cell phone. He'll be located in one of the lots. From there, make a quick right and you'll notice a forklift that you can interact with. Hack into the forklift to lower it, and then utilize your parkour skills to get to the roof. Once there, simply follow the path around where you'll find a second lift. Hack into the lift to raise it to your level, giving you a platform to travel over to the next roof. Once you're there, simply climb up to this platform, up the ladder, and you'll notice the CTOS towers behind a locked fence. Look for the camera inside, hack into it. Immediately turn to your right and you'll find the unlock panel. Once you've done that, the door will open, leading you to the second CTOS tower. Once you've hacked into that tower, you'll have two out of the 13 available CTOS towers finished. All right, let's move on to the next. After unlocking these first two towers, you'll notice that no more are available. The remaining district CTOS towers have to be unlocked via a CTOS control center. Each district will have one of these heavily guarded areas that you'll have to either fight your way or sneak your way through. Once you've completed them, you'll hack into their main database giving you access to the CTOS towers for whatever district you're in. Again, these areas are heavily guarded, so come prepared. Now the first of these control centers is actually a storyline mission, so it's unmissable. Simply make your way around, avoiding or incapacitating the guards. There are a plethora of ways to do this. This area comes with a ton of traps that you can use to distract or eliminate the guards. Ouch. Once you've cleared the entire area out, you'll be free to intrude upon the CTOS databank. You'll be required to complete a fairly simple lock puzzle that will grant you access to the data room, where you'll be able to hack directly into the CTOS data servers or Check out some of the surveillance they do of the city's citizens. Each of these servers will come with a few videos that you can watch showing what citizens around the city are doing. But once you've hacked into their systems, you'll notice that all three of the Loop District CTOS towers will be available. This is a process you'll have to repeat before you can access the remaining District CTOS towers. Once it's finished, you'll notice that the three CTOS towers located in the Loop District will be available on your map. The first one will be directly to the south of you, so we'll start there. Once you've reached the tower location, head to the back alleys. There will be a lift and vents that you can climb up to reach the upper apartments. 
Once there, you'll notice a bit of a party's going on, and that the CTOS tower will be directly above you. Hack into the nearby camera and unlock the panel directly in front of the CTOS system. Then, patch into the nearby camera and unlock the second panel hidden underneath the platform. This will unlock the door keeping you from the CTOS tower. Make your way through the apartment and up to the side balcony where the people are standing. Then simply head through the newly unlocked door and follow the path leading us to this gentleman again. As well as a rather familiar Windows message painted on the wall. Warning, your system has become unstable. From there, simply climb up and walk forward, and the next CTOS tower is yours. That's one tower done for the Loop District. Now let's move on to the second one. This tower is located closer to the middle of the district, but will be directly north of where you are. Once you've reached that location, again head towards the back alley, where you'll find a guy playing soccer against a wall. Nearby will be a lift that you can hack into to raise, giving you access to the roof. Once you're there, search around for a camera that you'll be able to hack into. Once inside the camera, simply scan around over to your right and you'll find an unlock panel for the nearby door. Once that's finished, pan back over to the left and patch into the uppermost camera. You'll notice that immediately to the left of you, there will be another unlock panel for you to hack into. Go ahead and do what you do. Once you're finished, Turn around and climb up the obstacles located directly behind you. This will lead you on a path that'll take you to the door you just unlocked. Head through that door and around the open path and it'll lead you straight to the next CTOS tower. The path is pretty straightforward so we won't show it here. That's four down with nine to go. The final CTOS tower for the Loop District will be located immediately to your east. On the map, it'll be fairly close to the Mad Mile CTOS Control Center. Like many of the other towers, the entrance to it will be in a back alley. You'll know you're in the right place when you find these two... interesting people. Oh my. From the middle of the back alleyway, look around until you find a camera you can hack into. Once you're patched into the camera network, work your way around from camera to camera, and you'll eventually find an unlock panel for a nearby door. This panel will be located right in front of the CTOS tower itself. Once you've done that, simply turn a little to the right and look directly forward and you'll find yourself a lift. Remember, if you're having trouble finding things, just follow the data stream. Once you've hacked into the lift, it'll drop down to street level around the back alley. Simply head back over there and climb on in. Once inside the lift, hack it again to raise it, which will bring you back up to roof level. Once you're there, simply run forward and the CTOS tower will be yours. Now congratulations, you've unlocked all the CTOS towers for the Loop District, granting you another 250 EXP. Up next is another CTOS command center to unlock the CTOS towers for the Mad Mile District. This control center will be located to the immediate northeast of the control tower that you just took. There are a multitude of ways to get in here. You can go in guns blazing or you can try to sneak around. I prefer stealth, so I found a lift that led me onto the nearby roof. From there, I patched into the camera system, got the server room access from one of the guards, and then snuck in. Get to the CTOS terminal however you please, and then promptly hack into the data room. Once you've broken the encryption and hacked into the servers, the Mad Mile District CTOS towers will be open to you. Now simply escape and get back to the task at hand, finding those CTOS towers. Once you're back on the street and out of the heat, it's time to take out the next tower. The first tower we'll be tackling in the Mad Mile District will be on a secluded island, located directly in between the Parker Square District and the Mad Mile District. Once you've found the location, head down the lefternmost stairs that'll take you near the docks. Once there, hop over the barrier and follow the rock path that'll lead you to the docks located behind the building. This will be the location where you can access the tower. Outside on the docks, you'll notice a lone light pole with one camera sitting on top of it. Hack on into it. Once you're patched into the camera's network, maneuver your way around through the camera systems until you reach the cameras that are on top of the balcony. From there, you'll find the first unlock panel. 
Once you've hacked into it, the door at the ground level will open up, allowing you access to the balcony. Make your way up the stairs, across the balcony, and around the path to the left. This will bring you around the building and will eventually lead you to a ladder. Climb the ladder and you'll find another unlock panel immediately to your right. Unlocking this will open up the door and allow you to walk straight to the next CTOS tower. We're just about halfway done now. Six down, seven to go. The next Mad Mile CTOS tower will be a little bit to the northeast of where you are now and can be reached rather quickly if you use any of the boats that are stationed at the dock. This tower is located in a pretty heavily populated area with a maze of apartments all the way around that make it a little bit confusing. Once you get there, patch into the camera system and work your way around the neighborhood to get a good feel of where everything is. This area can be a bit confusing, so it's good to get your bearings before we move forward. The first unlock panel will be located on the ground directly next to the park, at the base of the building with the two people performing yoga. Once you've located it, go ahead and hack into it to unlock the first door. Afterwards, work your way through the alleyways on the opposite side of the park until you find one with a lift that you can hack into. Hop in, hack it, and ride the lift to the top where you'll find yourself a ladder that you can climb. On the roof, you'll find the door that you unlocked earlier. Head on through. This is the part where it can get a little bit confusing, but make sure you pay attention to the data streams moving around here. Hop across the border and over the fence on the opposite side and you'll find the second locked door that we need to open up. The panel to unlock this door is nowhere on the camera network because it's actually hidden directly behind you. You sneaky devil. Once you've hacked into that panel, hop back over the fence and the door should be unlocked. From there, simply work your way across the rooftops until you reach the roof with the two people performing yoga. Keep heading east across that roof and you'll find the CTOS tower waiting. Once you've reached it, hack into it, and this district's secrets will be yours. That's two down for the Mad Mile District, one to go. The final CTOS tower in the Mad Mile District is actually the trickiest of the bunch. Once you've reached the icon on the map, you'll notice a parking garage. Head up to the second floor right beneath the roof and hop off this border. Make sure you're careful not to fall down, because that will hurt. Across it, you'll find a ladder that you can climb up that'll lead directly to the CTOS tower. To your immediate right will be a panel that you can't quite hack yet, and at first glance there isn't immediately anything that you can do. But don't worry, that's what I'm here for. Hop down in front of the panel and follow the small path that'll lead around the back side of the building. Around the back you'll find some platforms that you can climb up on. Parkour over those things, and around the end of the path you'll find your first unlock panel. Once you've hacked into that, that previously inactive security panel will be available for you to hack into. Simply head right back around the CTOS tower and hack into the panel. Now this panel will play out a little bit differently than usual. Now instead of granting instant access to the door, you'll have to follow a short network to unlock the panel inside of this hidden room. Once you do, the security door blocking the CTOS tower will open, giving you access to this district's secrets. And congrats, that's it for all of the Mad Mile District CTOS towers. Time for the next CTOS control center. The next control center we're covering is located in the wards. Don't worry, it'll be marked with a big icon on your map. You can't miss it. Anyway, once you've made your way through there, either through stealth or taking out all the guards, hack into the system as usual. This time the lock pattern will be a little more difficult, but once you've finished it, this section CTOS towers will open up. The first tower we'll be covering will be a little bit to the northeast, the closest one to the control center. Once you've reached the icon on your map, you'll notice you're in sort of a broken down alley. Inside the lot will be a system of cameras. Hack on into them and follow them around the building. Near the back of the building will be a group of construction workers talking. Patch into the camera above them and look directly at the building and you'll notice a camera next to a security door. Once inside that camera, the unlock panel will be directly in front of you. Hacking that will open a door at the ground level. Make your way around the building to where those construction workers were and you'll find a lift that you can hack into. Once you've reached the top level, follow the path around. 
climb over the boxes and head up to where the security door is. Once you head inside the security door, there will be a path to the immediate left and right of you. You want to head down the right path and climb over the boxes you see here. The left path will take you up to where the CTOS tower is, but there will be a locked door in front of it. Once you've climbed over these boxes, there will be an unlocked panel directly in front of you. Hack into it, and the door blocking the CTOS tower will open. Simply make your way back all the way around, follow the path until it leads up to a ladder, and the CTOS tower will be waiting directly in front of you. That's one down for the wards district, one more to go. The next tower will be located to the west of the wards district. You'll know you're there when you're in an area underneath the railroads. Travel under the tracks into the fenced-in area where you can climb some stairs and then a ladder that will take you directly to the railroad itself. Once you're level with the tracks, you can hop on and cross them over to the area where the CTOS tower will be stationed. You'll know you're in the right area when you find these gentlemen. Anyway, cross the tracks and you'll find the first locked door, along with a camera that you can hack into. Maneuver the camera around until you find a second one on a nearby building's rooftop. Patch into that camera's network and you'll notice there's nothing but some crates and some explosives next to an explosive panel, suspiciously planted directly in front of you. There's really only one thing to do while you're here. Hack into that device, causing it to explode, revealing the unlocked panel behind those crates. Once you hack into that panel, the security door blocking the CTOS tower will open completing all the towers within the wards district and giving you access to all its secrets. Alright, we're almost done. There's one more district to do, the Brandon Docks District. As usual, you'll need to infiltrate this area's CTOS control center, bypassing or taking out the guards, sneak through its very heavily armed construction grounds, and again locate the guard who's got server room access. Once you've accomplished this and patched into the system, the Brandon Docks area's three CTOS towers will open up for you. The first tower we'll be doing will be to the immediate east of your current position. Make sure you bring a ride. Once you've located the tower, you'll notice a giant carrier crane in the area. This will be important later on. The first unlock panel is actually located to the immediate left of the entrance. As soon as you enter, head left and the unlock panel will be on this small building. Hack into it, and the door blocking the CTOS tower will open. Now the second part is where this gets fun. Remember that giant crane? Well, you're going to want to hack it so that it lowers, and then bring a vehicle inside. Once you've brought your vehicle inside the carrier, lift it, and then wait for it to reach the maximum height. Once you do, take that vehicle and ram straight through the gate. Last action hero, baby. Once you've reached that rooftop, simply head through the door and up the path, and you'll find the next CTOS tower. That's 11 towers down, with just two to go. Up next will be the CTOS tower to the immediate northwest of you. Once you've arrived, you'll notice the area is sort of like a construction yard. And just like with the other CTOS towers, you'll want to head to the back lot. Once there, look around for a lift that you can interact with. Once you've found it, hop inside and raise it to the roof. After you've reached the roof, you'll notice there's a nearby ladder. Climb up the ladder, and to your immediate right will be a locked door leading to the tower. From here, patch into one of the nearby security cameras and point it towards the smokestack. Follow the network of cameras that you can interact with until you reach one at the end of the stacks. Once you're patched into that one, you'll be able to point it at a camera that's already inside the security enclave. From inside there, the unlock panel will be immediately to your right. Unlocking that panel will open up the door leading into this secure area. So once you're done with that, back out of the camera and head straight over. Once you're inside the gate, you'll notice another locked door. But don't worry, you've got all the tools you need to get through it. Hack back into the camera right above the door and back over to the camera that's sitting on the stacks. From there, simply turn to the right and patch into the camera that's within the locked room. Inside there, you'll see the panel right next to the door. Hack it to unlock the door, back out of the camera, and there you go. You've now got access to this area's CTOS control tower. That's a total of 12 towers done thus far. We've got one more to do. Open up your map and head to the next CTOS control tower. When you find it, it'll similarly be in another construction yard. 
We're in the final stretch. Let's go. Once you've reached the lot, head around the back and find one of the many security cameras posted up on the side. Once you're patched into that camera, follow the network of cameras around until you reach this one. It'll be right in front of a lift. Turn to the left and you'll be able to see inside of the small room that houses the locked door. Inside of it is an unlock panel. Hack on into it. Doing this will unlock the room allowing you open access. Head on inside and then through the door on the other side to access the lift that we just activated. Once you've made your way into that fenced-in lot, hop over the small gate blocking your access to the lift. Utilizing the game's basic parkour skills, just run at it while holding circle. Then, hop into the lift and ride it up to the top. Once you've reached the top area, hop outside of the lift and head over to the left, where you'll find the unlocked CTOS gate waiting for you. Once inside, go ahead and scan that bad boy and rejoice. This is the final CTOS tower you need to unlock. Unlocking this final tower will open up all of the collectibles, hideouts, and investigations available to you in the Brandon Docks District. And congratulations, now that you've unlocked all of the CTOS towers in the game, you've earned the Clear Signals Trophy, or achievement if you're playing on the Xbox family of systems. And with that, we finally wrapped up this how-to video on how to get all 13 of the CTOS towers in Watch Dogs. Thanks for sticking around to the end, guys. I know this is a really long video, but I really appreciate you guys watching it. Anyways, that's going to be it for this one, guys. If you'd like to see some more videos for Watch Dogs, Call of Duty, or the newly released Mario Kart 8, check out my channel where I'll have a ton more stuff coming out soon. Anyways, that's it for me. As always, I am the Black Link. Happy hacking to you guys, and always remember to stay frosty.